Folks, I am super excited to share this video with you. If you remember when I set up my 36 gallon Bowfront tank, I wanted Corbenzis cichlids and I did get them. I also knew they needed a cave. I had a horrible effort here on the right hand side, creating a Dragonstone teepee. On the left hand side, I spent about five hours picking out Dragonstone and putting together a cave with a front entrance and a back entrance. You'll figure out, I did get the Corbenzis. They didn't appreciate my cave at all. So, the Cribenzis, a great beginner cichlid, my new cribs in their new crib, coming up. So here's where I first brought the cribs home from my local fish store. Obviously, they're not colored up at all, they're stressed out. I drip acclimate every fish I buy. And I know a lot of people say that's overkill, just float the bag, put the fish in, but I've never had a loss due to acclimation, so I'm gonna stay consistent, and even if this is overkill, and I know that my local fish store has similar water, I still drip acclimate everyone that I put in the tank. So here we go. You're gonna see the dominant male come out first out of this net, that's the dominant male. You'll see the female he's paired up with coming out second. She's starting to color up a little bit. And you'll see a rogue male coming out third. Now what I asked my local fish store for is two females, one male, they didn't have those in stock, so I took the two males and one female, there goes the rogue male. A lot smaller than the dominant male and that's where the issues were. So I ended up moving him to his own 20 gallon tank. But you can see them here, they're starting to color up. This is about 15, 20 minutes after putting them in the tank. And you can see the pair. This is the dominant male and the female, and you can see the rogue male on the left hand side. And it is important with cichlids, if they are paired up, they are going to stay a pair. And if any other rogue male or any other males in the tank, they're gonna chase that guy away. So. Uh, they ended up chasing the rogue male all day, and that's when I decided to take him out of this tank and put him in my 20-gallon tank. So I'm going to let this run a little bit, narrate a few times over it, but I, I just want the video to do justice. You can see the two pair right there in the middle, and on the right-hand side in the bottom, that is the rogue male. He doesn't have a pair. He doesn't have a girlfriend. And uh, the pair didn't like him too much. So right in the middle there, you can see the dominant male chasing away the subdominant male. And here is the mama, this is the female. And you can tell when cribs are a female, they're a little bit more short and stout and compact and they have a nice red hue in their stomach. The males are longer, here's the rogue male here. They're, they're more elongated and less compact. So here's the dominant male. You can see the red underneath him. Now he's already paired up with the female, so they're dating. And probably exchanging some sweet nothings and doing what they do. But you can see the coloration. Uh, he's already set up. Now you can see the rogue male getting chased by the female. She doesn't want him around, and that's why I had to take him out of the tank. So she's already got a boyfriend. She's not gonna cheat, which is great but you can see how stout the female is and you can see that bright red right in the middle of their stomach area. So eventually what I had to do was move the other male into his own and I had room in my 20 gallon, so I moved him into my 20 gallon tank, which is in need of a cleaning. But he has his own apartment, he's got a little coconut hut, and his own space, and he's not being chased. So after spending five hours on a cave for these guys, they ignored it and created their own cave, and here is what I saw today, is we have Fry. I saw the female digging all week. They must have made it, and we have little babies here. I have absolutely no idea what to do. I'll have to research that. If anybody has any comments or advice, uh, please let me know because I just found this about three hours ago. And cichlids are very protective, especially these Corbenzis, very protective of their fry. The male will scare away or chase away any fish that comes near, but they are very, very good parents and this was really exciting. So if you want a really good time, if you want to start with cichlids, try the Corbenzis, a great beginner cichlid.
As always, please like, comment, subscribe for future content. Really appreciate y'all watching.